rolling. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Poop Cast. I'm your poop. Poop face. Just kidding, it's a podcast. <laughs> you ever watch Looney Tunes? I do. Guess what? I'm just gonna come out I'm just gonna come out and say it. I had the I had about five minutes already recorded of this podcast, and it was pretty good. It was a nice little intro. But guess what? Didn't have my SD card in the device. So guess what? I had to pause it. Had to erase it. Should have kept it, but I fucking erased it. Plopped my SD card in, started over. So that's what this is. Why did I erase it? Well, I don't know. To be honest, I could have kept it and used it. Why did I erase it? (laughs) That was stupid of me. I could have just kept that. I instantaneously erased it. It's gone forever. It'll never be back. Never, ever, ever, for never, ever. Trying to remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. So, to say it once again... I switched XLR cables even more. You see? And now, shit sounds crispier and cleaner than ever before. And me mouth is dry. Again. I got a dry mouth again. Uh, I also wanted to mention this. What was it? Oh, yes. Last episode, I said I'm going to put in the second camera angle. Remember? And I kept looking over at the camera like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm aware there's a second camera. Okay. Uh, I did not put in the second camera angle in the final edit because I didn't like it. So that's why it's not there, if you're wondering, which you're not. But in case you're wondering, that's why. Okay. Come on, huh? I should have brought some water in here. Olive, can you give me some water? Can you go get me some water? He's just sitting there wagging his tail. Like an idiot. Oh, you fancy some orange juice? Because I could have a big swig of orange juice right about now. I don't even own any orange juice. I have five alive citrus. Ooh, that reminds me. You know what's good? I just discovered a new drink. Take five alive citrus and buy some Sprite, okay? It has to be five alive citrus. If it's any of the other flavors of five alive, it it could work, but I don't know. It probably won't. I'm saying get the citrus. Mm, That's like the basic five alive. Okay, but it's still good. And now what you're going to do is you're going to open up a can of Sprite or a two liter, whatever you got, and pour half of it into a nice tall glass. All right? And watch it crackle and sizzle. All of the carbonation floating to the top. Ooh. Now, open up your five alive citrus and pour the rest of the glass, fill it up with five alive citrus. I said that bad, but do do it and then drink it. It's a good taste. They're both a citrusy drink, okay? Sprite is lime and lemon. And then you got your five alive citrus, which is lime, lemons, and some other shit. But it tastes good. 
It turns your drink into a lighter yellow color. <gasps> uh, ooh, yes, baby! <sighs> what is acid reflux? You know what I wish? Maybe I can. No, probably not. I want to lower this fucking table so that the I don't have this. Look how much room there is above me head. If I could just bring that down, you could see my shirt a bit better. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting some ideas in my brain. <laughs> but you can't see them, and I'm not going to explain them. But I'm I'm just think I'm looking at my desk right now thinking of how I can do this. Da, we'll do it later. We'll do it live. We are live. No, we're not. Don't tell me what to do. My poop cast. This is my poop cast. I poop here. This is mine. This is my poop. My poop spot. You understand? My poop. Write that down. We are, we are <sighs> the poop of the nation. We are, we are the poop of the nation. So, okay, listen up. Listen up, people. Whenever you see me looking down and I'm singing or I'm saying gibberish, it's because I'm writing notes. I'm taking notes, okay? I'm, I'm doing this by myself. What do you expect? Huh? Come on! What do you expect, ladies and gentle fish? You can't expect anything less. Yeah. Am I right to say that I can spray in the garbage can? In the garbage can. Is it right to say that I can spray in the garbage can? In the garbage can. There's a lot of freestyle singing on this. Oh my god, I'm hungry. I'm so fucking hungry. This is this is one of those podcasts that I didn't really have any topics prepared. So I wrote some shit on the index card quickly. So that's that's the story of me life. I was actually, you know what's crazy? I woke up this morning. I went into my kitchen and I said to myself, "Do I really feel like doing a podcast today?" And then I slapped my face against the counter. And I said, yes, you do. You do it. And don't not do it. And then I did it. Remember? Consistency. Force. It's all about forcing yourself. <laughs> it's not about loving it. It's about forcing yourself to do it. No matter how much you don't want to do it, you do it. God, I'm hungry. I took a I took a, a hoot this morning to give me to, that's what that's what gave me the motivation to do this. I was like, "You're I, after I smashed my face into the counter, I then went went over to my uh my hoot station and I took a hoot. What's a hoot, you say? Canadian. If you're not Canadian, Fuck you. You know? All those other countries, they suck. Canada's the best. Whoa, Canada! Okay. So guess what it's doing outside? 
Yeah, I opened the window. Open the curtain. What are you gonna do? Uh oh. It's um well it's not raining right now, but it's super cloudy and it rained again last night. We've been having a lot of rain, and let me tell you something. I love it. I, I can't get enough of it. I want more of it. Give me more of that rain. Don't you hate it when the person on the podcast keeps fucking with the microphone? Like, just leave it alone. And then now I notice that I'm the person who fucks with the microphone. Because I feel like I got to constantly rearrange it. I don't know what it is about it. But I bet I bet if you were on a poop cast, you would be doing the exact same thing. You'd be readjusting the microphone every few seconds because... People aren't comfortable. Oh my god, am I even recording? Holy fuck, that almost gave me a shit brick sandwich. I thought I wasn't recording. Woo! Oh my gosh. I almost had a heart attack. I almost had a fart attack. I'm so hungry. I'm so fucking hungry right now. I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, so it's raining. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about our fallacies. When I was, how old would I have been? Let me think for a second. 14, maybe? I went, nah, 13. I went... (laughs) Maybe 14, maybe 13. I don't know. I think it was 14, 13. One of those years. Definitely wasn't 15. Definitely wasn't 12. So it was either 13 or 14. I went on a school trip to Montreal. Montreal! Quebec! And at that time, I was a very unpopular kid. But uh doesn't matter, because I went on the trip anyway. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? So, well, here's why. Because everyone else on the goddamn trip was a uh, a preppy student. They were not only ugh, they were they well they were bullies, but they were preppy, like prep prep, like you're. They they acted like preppy kids on a movie. Like they were that fake and weird. But they were super popular and they smoked cigarettes and oh god, bad apples they were. Bad apples they were. <laughs> so I didn't really hang out with any of them. But why am I talking about this? I just remember there was one night uh, there was a pool in the hotel, and it closed at a certain time. But we were all up, and we all were like, let's go to the pool, but we didn't know it closed. And we went into the pool room. The pool room was still open, but the the pool was, uh, you know, they put the fence up around the pool and put the signs up that said, pool closed. So we were. there was no one around. There was probably... I don't know, 15, 20 of us. One of the preppy kids said, hey, let's go in the pool. Fuck it, let's just go in the pool. So he plopped in, and then next thing you know, two more people get in, and then we're all in, and (laughs) we're all having a great time. It was like 10 minutes of just fun in the pool, screaming very loud. And then, like I said, 10 minutes later, the, the dude the uh, manager or whoever comes up and he's like, what are you guys doing? (laughs) And we're like, we're just having fun in the pool. (laughs) And he's like, the pool's closed. Do you see the sign? How did you guys get in there? Like, he didn't understand how we got in. Because they, this was a fancy hotel, by the way. Like, very fancy. This was not, and the pool was not like a regular pool either. It was... It was like rocks, rock cliffs surrounding it. And when they closed the pool, the fence was just as tall as all of us. Like you had, we had to climb the fence to get in the pool. So he was confused. 
how did you guys get how did you guys get even get in there? And we're like, well, we just did. We got in. And he's like, no, okay, okay, get out. You all gotta get out. <laughs> and he opened the gate and we all got out. And that was it. We didn't get in that much trouble. Um, and then so, what else happened on that trip? I know there was other stuff. I fr- I I recorded that trip. And edited it. I edited it. I edited it. I edited it. I edited it. Oh my god. I edited it. Edited it. It into a like a you know just a little film. And I, I'm, I know I have the footage somewhere. I should upload it to the YouTube's. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a fucking good idea, bro. Well, you know what? That's a good idea for next episode. You know what? That's what we'll do for next episode. Let me just write that down. We will. Here's what I'll do. Next episode. I will. Uh, I'll watch this Montreal video with with you and put commentary over it. That'll be next episode. But then I'll also upload it to YouTube so you can watch it on your own time. Uh, da, da, da. I'm just writing down a note right now so I know. Sorry, sorry, I'm taking so long. I know, I know, I'm just writing. It's hard to write and think of stuff at the same time. Okay. You like chimichangas? Because I do. (sighs) Sorry, I'm just writing some more stuff. I'm just reading right now. I'm just reading. Okay, why am I doing this right now? I'm looking up information. I'm st- I got these ideas floating in my head, so I instantly went to the internet to pursue the idea. But then I thought, hey, you're doing a podcast. You got to stop and talk. Do that later. Hey, how's everybody doing? You know, I, I, why am I so concerned about constantly talking? This ain't a TV show. We don't have a time limit. You can do what you want. If you want to stop and not talk for a bit because you're on the internet, then you can do it. And I can screw it. That would probably make it more relatable. You know what I'm saying? Rodney Dangerfield. You know Rodney Dangerfield? No, I've never seen his comedy, but I'm, I know the guy. All oh, right. Uh huh. Uh huh. I gotta figure some stuff out. Okay, where were we? One other thing I want to talk about. I was watching Your Mom's House, the podcast. Featuring Tom Segura and Christina Pajitsky. I've talked about it before. Very funny podcast, but uh, the episode I was watching the other day, the most recent episode, Tom mentioned Frankie McDonald. He knew him. I couldn't believe it. If you don't know who Frankie McDonald is, he is, uh, well, he's known for his... uh, weather forecasts on uh, on the internet and his other wacky videos um frankie mcdonald look him up you'll find him instantly <laughs> and he's from my hometown i the hometown i grew up in that's where he lives like i used to see him like at the mall and shit he was famous Everybody knew who he was before YouTube even existed just because of the things he would do. He became famous as like the the guy 
who was always at the mall, Frankie McDonald. Do you see Frankie McDonald at the mall? Yeah, a funny guy. And then he started making these weather fucking videos. And now he's like known all over the friggin' world and he's got a book. Frankie fucking McDonald, everybody. Frankie fucking McDonald. Let's, uh, let's watch a Frankie McDonald clip. And then we'll hit up Reddit. I don't have a lot to talk about. But next next episode, we're going to definitely do that Montreal school trip video. Ooh la la, baby. Ooh la la. Oh. My ears. These hurt my ears, my friend. Okay. Uh, Frankie. Franklin. Frankie McDonald. Frankie McDonald. Okay, let's just look at a picture of him first. This is him. Look, he's all over the place. <sighs> nice looking guy. What does he got? 100,000 subscribers here? Yep. It's amazing what he's done. And this is his book. Be prepared. The Frankie McDonald Guide to to life, weather, and everything. Wow. Someone got a tattoo of him? Holy shit! A Texan? Someone from Texas? God. Damn, I didn't think he was that popular that someone would have gave him a tattoo. But anyway, let's watch a video of him. Uh, f go to his YouTube channel. Uh, here, here's, here's what he's known for. Stuff like this. This is Frankie McDonald, my own TV station live in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Sydney, see? Here's my update for the tropical storm, Barry. Now going to bring a lot of rain. It's going to bring a over 300 millimeters of rain. That's around over 20 inches of rain. The state of Louisiana is going to bring... A lot of rain in places like Alabama and Mississippi and all these places in Arkansas. Now it's going to spread all the way up to Missouri because the tropical storm Barry is going to bring a ton of rain. Winds are going to be very strong. It's going to bring a lot of damage. Yeah. So he's a, he's a weatherman. He's a weatherman. <laughs> and there's, there's a, the local weather person in Sydney, Nova Scotia, where I'm from, where he lives, where he's from. Uh, her name is Cindy Day, and she a while ago she uh, tweeted about Frankie saying how he's a uh, he's ridiculous. You shouldn't listen to him. He doesn't know anything about the weather. How can you just how can you just say things about the weather without having a meteorology degree? Blah 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 blah. blah. So she got a lot of backlash against him. So he makes videos like that. And then he also makes videos like this. He's got 200,000 subscribers right now. Okay, guys. Let's do some dancing. Let's show me my moves. Uh, this video is called Guy Dancing, Then Raining Spicy Tacos. It's thunder like now. Oh my god, it's raining spicy tacos. It's raining more spicy tacos. Oh my god, <laughs> this time it's raining spicy tacos. Okay. Oh <laughs> this only has 5,000 views. Why? This should have more views than that. Well, I was only uploaded a few days ago, but... Okay, his most popular video... Guy, guy tries to eat 50 hot dogs at once. It has 1.4 million views. Okay, guys. I'm going to do a video about the guy eating 50 hot dogs at once. I remember when he uploaded this. And I know where he's at right now. He's got the hot dogs on the barbecue. Here's some ketchup and mustard and 
ketchup, mustard, relish, onions. Looks like he's pulling his dick out. I want you to eat 50 hot dogs at once. Oh! 50 hot dogs at once. Eat them all right now. Eat 50 hot dogs at once. There's the guy go. <laughs> I wonder I bet he's counting every single hot dog he puts in his voice as well. Let's go to spread it. Spread it! Spread it! I'm gonna add this to my bookmarks bar. Oh, and I'm gonna have to delete something so I can see it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I can get rid of Netflix. I don't watch Netflix on this computer. Are you fucking high, brother? Are you high, brother? I don't want context for this ever. Let's watch this. It's Satan. What did he put on a balloon? His ball? Oh, yeah. He took his ball, put it in a helium balloon. <laughs> oh. That's a pretty good one. That's a good one. That's a good stunt. Hold on. Hold on. What do we got here? Hula hoop gets stuck. Uh oh, the hula hoop's stuck. crazy <laughs> put it in reverse Terry put it in reverse oh Lord, geez, what are you doing Terry back it up <laughs> Terry <laughs> I can't believe why would he maybe he thought she was in danger hold on Never trust a magician. Let's go back. Gives her a card. She writes on it. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Now that's cool. Whoa. Whoa. Let's watch that again. That's so crazy. I love just for laughs gags. That's Canadian. I can't believe boss forgot my birthday. I thought he was my friend. Oh, 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 oh. 
You, how did you get past my security? You let your guard down. Bruh. Impala. Fight gets interrupted. Oh! Run! First time seeing Laminar flow in person. What's Laminar? Oh, it looks like it's not flowing, but when you touch it, you can tell it is flowing. Just looks like a piece of ice. Touch it! He didn't touch it! You're supposed to touch it! Yeah, see? You show a laminar for, with, without running your hand through the water? Are you some kind of monster? Yeah, I'm gonna comment. You're supposed to put your hand in it. Gosh. What else we got? If it's a crime for a man to remove a condom without his partner's knowledge, it should be a crime for a woman to lie about being on birth control. What happened to your dog? What if I decide to let my dog white? Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> What if I decide to let my white dog out after I mow my lawn? Who's this? This man trying to smuggle a kilo of cocaine under a wig <laughs> at the Barcelona airport. Jesus Christ, buddy. You think that's going to work? Looked away for one second, and a mofo stole my chips. I'm so thirsty, I'm so hungry. Why would you let him do that? Don't let your dog eat your chips like that. It's giving you the finger. Bow. Uh huh. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Seen this? Watch this guy. On the road again! Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. That must have hurt. Hey, I'm volunteering in a bear refugee f in Croatia. And I thought, like, sharing... Did I read that? I thought, like, sharing this photo of a chillaxing lad with you guys. Is that a real bear? It looks fake. No, that's real. That's a... that's a bear. Whoa! That's a trippy picker. After many attempts, this brave man successfully removed a tire from a sea lion's nonk. How did he get the rope on there? Dunk! Don't stick your head in tires, stupid. Fucking stupid. Life sucks dick sometimes. But at least I'm not looking for a fucking jewel every 22 seconds. What is this? A woman in Edinburgh, Scotland had frequent nosebleeds, which she believed was because of a motorbike crash. While in the shower, she felt something poking out of her nose, and it turned out the reason of nosebleeds was actually a three-inch-long leech living in her nostril? What the fuck? 
How do you not feel that? You can't write the digits of pi backwards. First date. Thinks. Don't let her know you're a brontosaurus. Sees waiter. Cranes my 30-foot neck towards him. You could get... You, you could I get a ton of... What? Yeah, could I get a ton of fucking leaves? I know, I fucked it up, I fucked it up, I know. I have dyslexia. What do you want me to do about it? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm bored of this. Not really. I'm just, uh... I, uh, wasn't prepared. This is a non-prepared podcast. Next week is a prepared podcast. So... I think I saw a pussy cat. <laughs> That's uh that's a that's a flashback to the beginning when I was sang the Looney Tunes. Right da 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 la 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 Okay everyone, guess what? We're gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Poop Cast. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Peace to the Middle East and all the people who like cheese. <laughs> Um, what did I use it for? I used to use it at work. I had a job that was, um, it doesn't matter what you say about me, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter what you say about me. Doesn't really matter what you say about me. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what you say about me. It doesn't really matter. What you say about me.